probably going to PS2, which means... Three, yeah, two, Pit. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're now we're feeling out. This is the first time we'll actually be seeing the the Beast Squirtle. It was, yeah. It was all uh, it was all Ivysaur and Charizard against uh, against Gara, and the Squirtle's not not allowed to do much. <laughs> no kidding. I, I have a feeling that we may be see, seeing a switch before long, and there it is. Um, so. Uh, that's that's kind of like in the Pokemon games, you throw your starter, or you, you throw your Squirtle, your, your low-level Pokemon, right at the front, and then you switch them out so they can still get the experience. Uh, that was a zero to death. Yeah. That was a zero to death on all three Pokemon. A very pit zero to death, where it was just... Yeah. It's it's not... Pit can be explosive. After the pit buffs, pit has some stops. Pit's got some stuff. But... Being ledge trapped for a whole stock into a, just arrow edge guards and sheer threat alone. Yeah, that sounds like Pit. And that's kind of the direction that Pit players have taken the character, just to a pure neutral monster with all of these multi hits and very good defensive tools. I mean, we saw those orbiters. Yep. And no, uh, now, now he's going to have to respect those. I, I, the one thing I need to talk about right there is that he started a combo with the ledge. And uh, I, I think they, they, they threw forward, or they did so, they, some move to knock Luminous forward, and then they ran past him, and then did a back air to send him back towards the ledge for, 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 for quicker stage control. It was like, that's the level that Beast is bringing to the table. And it, always looking to push the envelope and push things even further. What a big swing, but a whiff on that forward smash. And don't look now, but Beast is down two stocks. Yeah, this is... This is a statement of a game if I've ever seen one. This is Luminous coming out yeah. and saying, hey, I know Beast that you're you're seated very highly. You may be top five in Philly, but I'm I'm uh, I'm up and coming. And you do have to respect the pit, because if you're not ready for a character like this, he does have combos, he does have anti-airs, he does have kill power, and he's got everything a character, a player that wants in neutral to just have. It's a shame that it's not like it, Pit's like one of those characters that's just like, like bees across the board. Like he has everything, yeah. but nothing. Yeah. No exclamation points. But you don't okay. need an ex. You don't need exclamation points to just be good. Yeah. You say no exclamation points, but I'm going to say the sentence with a lot of exclamation points. That was a three star. Oh yeah. That was a three star. Oh, yeah. oh I don't think I've ever seen. I've seen bees get three star before. I've never seen it happen like that. That was a systematic shutdown. That was locking all windows and doors, to borrow Mark Zumoff's phrase. That, that was clinical from Luminous. Yeah. It's a deconstruction and it, of, of like up a time proportions. Like that was that was a phenomenal game yeah. from Luminous, who seems like they're they've got a ticket for winners on top 16 if they play the same way. Though beast. Kind of yeah. upping the tempo in this game, too. It's like, all right, if I'm going to start with the Squirtle and I'm going to play Pokemon Trainer, then Luminous looks ready for that. But what happens if I just throw the classic Beast start at them? Are they ready yeah. for me to shake them up like this? Game two is and, looking and, a lot better. And, and Beast, like, if there's one thing I can say about Beast is that momentum with Beast can can be very, very ble bleeding. Like, like, for him and also against him. Um... It, it, you're like as good as that game number one was. It's not gonna happen again. Um, just because uh, there's always some new wrinkle that Beast is always able to to, to bring into the fold. Um, but that being said, oh my, that never works. That never ever 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 works. Watch every single Beast spot. I implore you, watch every single Beast spot. You never beat out that Flare Blitz in that situation. Not Beast Flare Blitz. It never works. I don't know how Lumen has got that KO. Oh, the up tilt still hit. That's insane. And that continued the combo even further. 63 like it was nothing. You know, it's... Luminous must be about to make me eat my words. He's like, you think I can't double three-stock beats? Watch this. Yeah, hold my... <laughs> hold my beer. Right, it's time to yeah. get... It's time to get rowdy. He was looking for drag down there up smash, but he still finds oh a grab on the platform. He just dropped okay, the sour spot F tilt. Okay. Uh oh. <gasps> no. No recover from this. It's the right idea. It's the right idea. That, okay. That flamethrower was a bad idea because Luminous was regrabbing. He cleans it up, which is which is perfectly yeah. fine. And a hundred like 
Charizard super heavy. But that flamethrower <laughs> right, right, refreshed right. Lu uh, Luminous's invincibility, which threw away a, a stock only five seconds earlier, but that could have gone from bad to worse if not. Yep. Oh, speaking oh no! Oh no! I was literally just about to say, I was literally just about to say, if Luminous loses this Backwards. stock, he loses the set. <laughs> that's like, that's my hot take, because that's what that's what momentum is like against Beast. Uh, like, like, Beast, like, you have to play so respectfully against Beast. You have to play so respectfully this stock, and you have to, like, you have to win this stock. Uh, for, for Luminous, because, Be like, Beast is not just, like, a, like, like, a drunken brawler. Like, he's, like, the longer you stay in this set, the more he's gonna start figuring this pit out, and this, the earlier these kills are gonna start to come in. That was a kill at, okay, I need to watch the replay here. That's a kill at 78 before the hit. Yep. Please, please understand who you're up against right now. Oh my goodness. It is a, a, it is a true matter of importance for how this game three goes. Because all Beast needs is one haymaker. He he needs one he needs one moment for Beast to like do that little shoulder shake and be like, alright, I'm feeling myself now. And then things get out of hand quickly. Yeah. But, but Pit's a character I, like, that has I, a lot of control. So I, I've seen Beast, like, I, I, I said, I I may not have seen Beast get 3 stock but like, but like that before, but I've seen Beast down like that before. And, like, it, it, it's uncanny how every single time it seems like it's in, a, in an unwinnable situation for Beast, he finds a back throw back air off stage and kills his opponent at 50, and all of a sudden it's a completely different set. And, it like, it happens so, like, it, it happens almost reliably that he's, that he's able to find that, and... Look at this now. It, the momentum is completely shifted. Yeah, this this game just kind of maintains even, and we're seeing Beast chase a lot more. Though However, Luminous, Luminous under these platforms is a has been a threat so far in this game. Great neutral getup to just understand that Beast looking for the jump, high profile, huh? Um, <laughs> um, Ivy Star up tilt is probably not. It, it's it's not been a great move thus far. And and you know it, it, to, to Luminous's credit, um, it, like you can't play scared against Beast, but you have like when when the when the momentum shift happens, you have to recognize it very very quickly, and you have to respond to it. Oh no! Okay, the drift back there, wonderful, wonderful. May have like that may have kept Luminous in this game because I know it looks like Luminous has the percent lead now, but this is so much more even than it looks because of the X factor that is Beast charge. Phenomenal tech and the sour spot of the down air, arguably the sweet spot, given how much more you get out of sour spot oh. there. Down to so good. The down, the each, down to each one me. of these back airs. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! He read the jump, but Pit has multi jumps, which means each one of his yeah. mid airs, each one of his mid air jumps is not as not as good. But yeah, every one of these back airs is it makes it, your heart skip. I, 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 yeah, I can't. You said it better than me. You, you'd be able. <laughs> Oh no! Anything but that. Anything but that. <laughs> and now he's chasing oh, up here. No. This is okay. Okay. All right. All right. Luminous. Luminous. You gotta win this stock. You you can't let something like that happen. Yeah. We we can, I can hear the crowd in the background. We are cheap among them, popping off like it's Orlando, Florida, and it's it's going. <gasps> Okay, the the, the, the down beat, uh, the, the down beat off the ledge, bent, like, like you knew Luminous was was expecting a back air there. Okay, gets Charizard up there. You have to do a lot of work as Pit to find these kills. Luminous is, Luminous's combo game has been really good. He's been finding full combos, but it just it feels like it's normal that almost getting the loops, but the cross up gets grabbed and unprepared for Beast to be facing the other way. This game is getting into a very very tight spot, but Beast. Overcommitting on the dash attack, but Luminous not finding the combo off of it. And just as I competed his combo game, I mean, you really do be like that. You gotta respect Pit's down smash, gotta respect the carry from Beast. Everything is like they're throwing everything yeah. at the wall and seeing what sticks. Oh no. Okay, I was gonna. Uh, Beast knows. Beast knew exactly what his two win conditions were. Like, he, gave, he gave Luminous a very, very healthy diet of back airs, 
and then uh like when that well started to dry up it was like all right it's gonna this is this is an up this is an up smash out of sh- like this is like an up smash out of shield punish game like that's how i went and you could see he was just like moving he was throwing out safe moves and he was letting the waves of pressure from luminous break and luminous the the offense kept getting faster and faster and faster and faster the button kept getting faster but it did the pressure didn't actually get tighter and it was like Charizard's so scary because all he has to do is hit that one move. Man, man, that was a, what that, a set. That was a phenomenal set. A, like great, great A set. B, I, I love that you bring up how the game felt like it was getting faster and fast, faster. The tempo ramping up steadily, uh, yeah. more and more. And you know what the best thing about heavyweights in this game is? When in scramble situations, second to none. You can think of characters like Bowser, who can just pop you off like it's nothing. Characters like Charizard, who have instant reversal options, whether it be with Fly and its invisibility, or the speed of Up Smash and the intangible wings. Uh, Characters like Donkey Kong, who just...